I decided to record while I was making some cards today. And this is the last card that I made. I'm working on the sentiment. And I heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. And I use Versa Fine Black Onyx Pigment Ink. And I stamped it once. And I turned around, turned it around in my stamping tool and stamped it again um, and heat embossed them uh, separately, one at a time. And after they're heat embossed, they're in clear, um, then I will die cut them. There's only one die that comes in this set. It is a Concord and Ninth set. But when I got the set with the other dies on it, that particular die for the sentiments was not on there. It's on my table, so I have to search around and look around. That's the card that it's supposed to be stuck to. I did purchase some envelopes from Amazon, these clear envelopes. And as you can see, there's some dies laying up there, so I thought, well, I need to put those back in their pouch. So, I put those back in there, but I don't have a large enough one for this die and stamp set because it come as a set. So, that's why they're still on the cards. But not good for me if I don't put it back on the card because it gets buried on my desk. So, after I search and look around under things, I do finally come across it, thankfully. So, here you'll see me plop it down. I'm like, there it is. Found it. I'm glad it didn't get lost because I would have had to have bought the whole uh, die set just to get that sentiment one. I probably would not have. I would have cut them out my hand, by hand. All right, so back to die cutting. I did buy some low-tack tape from Simon Says Stamp. And it does work really good because I do not have a magnetic platform anymore. So I have to tape all my dies down just so they don't move around. And something like this, the sentiment set, you don't want your die to shift because otherwise you'll end up cutting off or cutting them crooked or something like that. So this low-tack tape works really well. And it's not real expensive. So I bought it and tried it. And so far I like it. It doesn't tear your paper when you peel it off. So there are all the little sentiment pieces. And now I'm ready to cut my cardstock piece that I stamped. This is a turnabout stamp. And I did it all in a, one solid color. You can see off to the left there is one that I did in multiple colors. Um, you can do it one, four, three, or two, whatever, you, whatever you'd like. I love those turnabout stamps. They're so cool. So uh, the cardstock um, piece that I cut out was four inches by five and a quarter. I wanted to leave an edge. Uh, all the way around the card front. So I trimmed it down to that. I did not back it with anything, any other color or anything like that. And I always use liquid adhesive unless I'm using a patterned paper. It is a lot thinner. Pattern, thin pattern paper does not like liquid adhesive. It's best to use a tape runner for that. But the cardstock, I always use liquid glue. And it gives you a little bit of wiggle room if you put it on there a little crooked. You have time to shift it around a bit to get it straight. So that's what I am doing there. So after I have that glued down there, then I pick out which sentiments I want to use. 
Um, I picked out Miss You Friend. There are multiple sayings on there. Uh, Hello and love and you and uh, you can create your own sayings or just put one. But I like that they look like little labels, like the old school labels. So that piece there, I missed a little bit of it when I die cut it. So I just cut that white piece off so it was all black. And after I picked out my sentiment, then I was trying to think of what to use else to put on that card. So I thought of this floral image here. This is Spellbinder's die set. It has an outline image and a solid image. And I just am using the outline image on that today. So I used a piece of black cardstock, same that I used for the sentiments. And I was just about to die cut that out. And I thought, well, how am I going to get that stuck onto that card? Because this die cut is very thin. And I was not about to get a glue pen and run that all over that die cut. So I got my stick it adhesive. It pretty, ma pretty much just makes your cardstock a big sticker. So just trim your piece down however big you need it. and Or you, if you want to put it on a whole sheet of cardstock, you can. I always do it a little at a time. So after cutting that out, then I take my bone folder and burnish that down. Make sure that it's stuck well to the cardstock. And this will die cut just fine in any die cut machine. I uh, usually run it once and then I run it backwards through uh, just to make sure that it pressure gets put on all parts of the die. This is a pretty good sized one. So once it's run through then I will take the die out and I'll if the paper stays in it I'll flip it over and I'll look to see if it needs run through again. This one, I wasn't sure. So I just took the die and run it through again just to make sure that it cut it because especially with the adhesive on there, if you don't die cut it through all the way, it's really hard to, to get that out and you could tear your little intricate die cut. So um, I just run it through as many times as I can to get it to cut through there well. So and I take my die brush and get all the little pieces out of the die that you that you won't need. All the extra little spaces. And if your die doesn't pop out of there, you can just tap it onto the table. Or take your piercer tool and you can um, peel that right up out of the die. So that's ready to go and it's got the paper backing on it and just um, well I think first I laid it down just to see where I wanted it to go and then I will peel off that little paper backing now it's pretty thin so I did use my pe uh, paper piercer pokey tool um, to get that started um, my hands are a little so I have to get something in there to get it started. That piercer tool works pretty good. And I go real pretty, I go pretty slow peeling that backing paper off. Because that stick it adhesives, it's kind of thin backing paper. And I didn't want to tear it and have to start peeling it off again. So I just peeled it off real slow and it was just fine. And I laid that down so none of it would stick out over the edge of the card. And then I took a piece of that release paper from that adhesive sheet. And I take my bone folder and burnish it down onto the card front. And make sure that it's stuck really well. And using the release paper ensures that you don't tear your die cut since it's so delicate. Um, that works really well. And then I'll pick it up, make sure that it's stuck on there good. And we're ready to put sentiments on. 
And again, I use liquid adhesive for this. I could use a, a double-sided like sticky strip. That would work too. But I just had that there, so um, I decided to put those sentiments on um, and on top of each other. And that pretty much does it for that card. I didn't add any embellishments to it, but I thought it looked, it needed something. So I thought um, the Wink of Stella. I do have some Wink of Stella. There's not a whole lot left in it, so I was hoping that there was enough to get this shine on this card because it is it is really sparkly and it's nice because it's not like glitter it comes off so i go through uh, and do all of the leaves um the centers of the flowers and i look at it make sure that i got it covered good and i just keep going around till they're all done so after looking at it i thought the top the flower on the top left it doesn't have any leaves coming out behind it and it I thought it was a little plain so I put some just at the base of that flower and a little bit of the stem just to kind of tie it in with the other flowers that had something on there and that was that I think that was enough embellishment with that Wink of Stella to do that card. So the other cards that I made today, I will show you. They are in a different uh, color. There's still a solid image, or tone on tone, sorry. Tone on tone stamping. There is uh, blue. Uh, these are all different colors. I, I created a bunch the other day. And today I made cards um, with them. So there's the gray one. Again, that's the tone on tone. And that one is clear embossed. Again, it's got a couple layers on it. Now that one there has um, ultra thick embossing powder from Ranger. That makes it look like um, enameled. That one's really cool, but I didn't do it to all of them. So those are the cards I made today. Thanks for watching.